Welcome back on the morning brew and uh, kind of getting ready for Halloween and all of that. Uh, our first guest today, Alex Paramo, with us today, uh, author and co-founder of Community Publishing. Alex, good to see you. Good to see you, Larry. Thank you. And AC May is with you today. Your right. artist. Well, well AC, one of your artists. That's right. And I, AC is actually a henna practitioner and uh, artist, and she's contributed to our second book, which is Fiona the Fogmandelic Freckle Fairy. Uh -huh. And uh, it's she uses her henna style, and what she does is these are three D type of uh, kind of illustrations here. And AC now because she did such a great job. Uh, we're working on a book called Bay of the Caterpillar, written by seven-year-old Marisol Paramo. Mm -hmm. And that is a multimedia book. And of course, we had the audio engineer back here a couple of weeks ago. And that mixes sound and music, very tropical. And AC created these beautiful illustrations um, that sort of have that tropical feel using her henna style. So I have known AC through the artist community. And I said, mm -hmm. well, let's, let's bring her aboard. Mm -hmm. Well, Icy, nice. how are you? Welcome um, to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, can you tattoo up Greg here? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you want me to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he wasn't expecting that. Yeah, right? surprise. Sorry, Greg. I didn't, didn't I tell you before yeah, the exactly. show? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell us about tell us about henna. Tell us about how it translates uh, with the book and everything. That's very exciting. Well, I started doing henna when I was going to school to be a teacher, actually. Mm -hmm. And I just stumbled across it. One of my friends um, told me about it. And mm -hmm. um, so I started practicing. And um, before I know it, I knew it. I was doing it on people. And everyone was loving it. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing it for a few years now. And then Alex. Um, approached me about um, contributing a couple of pieces for Fiona the Funkadelic Freckle Fairy, just um, the constellations and a little solar system poster. Hmm. And um, I had been doing henna, which this is henna. Okay. And That's it. Yeah. this is yeah. a weird green pasty stuff. Yeah. And um, what I typically do is I put my paint inside a similar cone to this, which oh. is made out of cellophane, which I make. And then um, I just squeeze it out, cut the tip off, squeeze it out onto canvas or paper or whatever I happen to have handy at the time. And um, then I never even dreamed about being able to put it into a book. And it's, it was a real dream come true. I cried like a baby when <laughs> Alex and Yvette came up to me and asked me if I would contribute. And right. then I cried even harder when he asked me to do a whole entire book all on my yeah. own, and I was very happy. Nice. And I was really excited about that one, too, the Bea the Caterpillar story, because it was written by his daughter. Right. And as a person who's very pro-children's literature and all of that, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to yeah, help no a little seven-year-old girl be a published author. Right. Super we have some, fantastic. Uh, those, there's an example of it over there. Very nice. Very beautiful, colorful, <laughs> and definitely using that henna technique that AC's talking about. Yeah, it stands up off of the off of the surface. It's right. very texturized. Actually, I like that. It's nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank very you. Nice. That's very unique. It's right. very original. That's right. right. That's what I was going to say when I came across it. Uh, admittedly, I didn't know that much about Hannah myself. Um, and coming across AC, and she did it on myself and my daughter one time. And this is beautiful. Imagine putting that into a book as, as much as you can, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we were able to do that, but the, the, the original illustrations, just touching them, I think that's it's a wonderful <laughs> experience. It takes the multimedia to like a multi sensory level. Right. <laughs> right. So I'm really excited, yeah. AC, is there, a, is there a shop you work at in town, or how does that work? Um, I have a Facebook page okay. um, working on a website. I don't have it completed, but um, I usually just meet people anywhere in town to do henna at their house, at my house, wherever it works for everyone. And I just set up there and do it. I would love to have a space to be able to do it, but, you know, that takes a little bit of money. Sure. Very <laughs> so nice. So saving up for such a thing. Yeah. I see kids getting these a lot. How right. long does it stay or can it be washed off? How does that work? Um, it lasts, once the paste is on your skin, it should stay on your skin for um, at least four hours, but I say the whole rest of the day and take it off the next morning yeah, and have henna crumbs in your bed. But yeah. then it lasts anywhere between two to four weeks, depending oh. on the strength of how I've made it. I see. 
and it's different every time. I have it's no It's almost like a, a shell when they put it on you. It's like a shell, and then you just, after four hours, you just wipe it off, and it's just really magical. It gets very pattern. crumbly and flakes mm -hmm. off, and then there's a, it, it starts out really bright orange, and then over the next couple of days, it darkens into like a burnt orange color. Wherever the paste is on your skin, that's where it'll be. It's staining me already from this morning. So, it so is that what happens? That's, that's a really, I'm kind of curious about that. Does it stain the skin or what? Yes, okay. it does stain the skin. And it lasts, the, the design will last true, nice and dark for about two weeks two to three weeks and then it'll start to fall off or fade away and then it looks like you have a little bit of a dirt spot on your skin but it's worth it <laughs> so so we heard that there may be a bit of a demo for alex here yeah definitely right. you show us show us what you've got going and we'll right. see how it works <laughs> and and i th i understand this is from india right is that where this comes from mm -hmm. yep exactly and this was a good crop 2012 so i'm pretty excited a good crop, you say? Uh, yeah, a good crop of henna. Some crops are better than others, depending on the weather and all all of that sort of, you know, environmental conditions and whatnot. So is henna a plant? It is a plant. Oh, I see. And they Somebody harvest the leaves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, actually, it's interesting because the conditions that they grow it in India are pretty similar to here. And I wish that I could grow some here, but... I haven't had any seeds. Plus, I don't know if it's legal. I don't know if I can here hmm. or not. <laughs> That's interesting. But I've always wanted to have my own, just for my own special little batch. Yeah. So there's a region in India where, where they grow this? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure the, like where they grow it in India. But there's lots of families where that's what they do. They grow henna and harvest the leaves and dry it out for all of us people over here to play with. I, you can also dye your hair with henna too, which I used to do. It's a very good conditioner for your skin. Hmm. And it looks like the designs are really intricate. You can see some of your artwork that you brought with you. It mm -hmm. looks like very... I brought, that, yeah, yeah, this is my sketchbook that I've brought yeah. um, that has more of my artistic you know, with a Sharpie more than, I can right. do a lot more detail with that than I can with this. I think that's attracted me to AC's work, the detail, the minute detail and the time it takes to put into that. I think very it's really nice. visually captivating. Why, thank you very much, Alex. What do you think, Larry? Are you ready for one? Uh, no. <laughs> I can cut to your face for you. Yeah. <laughs> It'll only last I a couple I see we got days. a spider web going. Is that what we have? Or it's, is it just a design? It's just a design. Um, each one ten is different. I don't think I've ever done the same one twice. It's too difficult to, to recreate. And um, what I do when I get the henna is just um, a powder. And I add lemon juice and sugar and essential oil. I like to use Kajaput essential oil the best and because it smells really wonderful which is what you guys are smelling right now. That's a pretty big pattern the henna, <laughs> the henna itself um, is very uh, earth smelling. It just smells like mud. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, sorry, I get carried away. Yeah, <laughs> probably bigger than I bargained for. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Alex. It's a professional job, yes. right? All right, all right. Yeah, you can just build on the design over and over. That's what it looks like. You sort of started in the middle just to build out. Mm -hmm. that's and that's great. what I typically do. And I'm a little bit nervous, of course, so it's not yes. like my best sample. Sure, but understood. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, it looks really nice. Very oh, nice, thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you very much. Now you've got to let that dry, Alex. Yeah, mm -hmm. four yeah. hours I'm going to have to. Or you can wipe it off right away and just be like me and have like a little orange smear on the back <laughs> of your hand. Yeah. You know, this is really popular now. Well, at least it seems to me, right? The last mm -hmm. few years henna is really gained in popularity yep i actually set up at the rail yard market and um i don't want it to get on a shirt sorry and um when i was there i had a line the entire four or five uh -huh. hours that i was set up there wow. and mostly little kids sure. and teenage sure. girls but also moms and grandmas will get it done with their with their ladies and nice. then the little brothers have to get it done too to match yeah that's right <laughs> a whole family 
Well, thank you That's for great. sharing your talent with us You're today. very welcome. Thank That's you for great. coming. Alex, you. appreciate and, it. And communitypublishing.org is where you can find out some more about AC and her work and her Got background and, and all that. Thank you, Larry. You thank bet. You, Greg. Thanks, Alex, guys. thank you. Yeah. AC, good to see you. Thank you. All right, now that we're all handed up, let's <laughs> check on your bank account. Uh, <laughs> uh, our, our next guest is Sherry Bird from the UNM School of Law. And she has a brand new financial book out. You're going to meet Sherry in just a moment here on The Morning Group.